First Sergeant Mordechai had already started planning his post-army trip to South America. Called back from his final furlough, he was wounded by a rocket at the entrance to Gaza. He faces months of rehabilitation and physical therapy and says Israel must keep fighting in Gaza. We want to live in peace and quiet, but it can't go on like this. They're trying to kill people and we have to stop it. Israeli citizens can't continue to be wounded and killed. Zev Rochstein, the hospital's CEO, approaches Mordechai with a smile and ruffles his buzz cut. He says he expects him to make a full recovery. I can see the injuries here are some uh, the head and, and extremities. Okay, he still uh, have a fixator, external fixator for uh, his uh, uh, left hand uh, and uh, still the right is uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, suffering from injury. It takes some time to return all his function. That's exactly what uh, we are working on. And the, um, the target is to return him as close as possible to the situation before the injury. Rochstein says the wounded soldiers are receiving very good care in the field and that getting the soldiers to the hospital quickly is essential. The idea of uh, early evacuation from the battlefield, that's exactly the idea that we are adopting now. Uh, and the ability to bring the uh, soldiers within the golden hour to the emergency uh, departments of the big hospitals when we have all the experts needed, okay, uh, it's really life-saving. Most of the soldiers are wearing good protection. You can easily see that the, uh, the soldiers are much more protected, so uh, we see less uh, uh, head injuries, we see less uh, thorax uh, and abdominal injuries, and we see much more injuries on the extremities. Some of them are easy, some of them are very complex, uh, some of them are life-threatening uh, to bleed from a major vessel in the field. Rochstein has a son fighting in Gaza, but up on the pediatric oncology ward, 18 of the 22 patients are from Gaza. Most spend long stretches of time in Israel and say they're grateful to the doctors and staff here. But they're also angry about the loss of life in Gaza and say Israel is not doing enough to protect civilians. I think the situation in Gaza is very bad. The Israeli forces are killing children and babies. They shelled the house of my son Mohammed. They're saying they want to kill Hamas, but Hamas is protecting me. They shoot at Hamas and they don't talk to them. She says her 23-year-old nephew, who was not part of Hamas, was killed last week. At the entrance to the hospital are banners calling for the soldiers' recovery. They are also being inundated with cookies and gifts. And we're here just, you know, for small things to make them smile, to show them that we're with them, that we pray for them, that we support them, and we know that they're doing the right thing. I mean, they're protecting our country, our land, the only land we have. Everyone is with our soldiers, even the people who not know the soldiers, like, we, we are all, we, we support them, like, no matter who the soldier is, even though we don't know him, we want to show him that we support them and we appreciate them and we thank them about everything. We love our soldiers. It's each soldier that when they dog, God forbid, got killed, is like our own. I do have a kid that just finished the Army. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Sheba Hospital in Tel Aviv.